It's a mission to deepen our understanding of the red planet, quite literally. Once NASA's Mars InSight lands, it will send probes deep under the surface, not just to find out more about that world, but also our own. Mars is geologically similar to Earth. What's different is that it's relatively unchanged since its formation, something scientists hope will provide clues as to how the Earth formed after the Big Bang. We want to understand what happened in those first few ticks of the clock. Um, on the Earth, that, that uh, evidence has been mostly erased. So this is the robotic arm. It's the instrument deployment arm. But that's not all. The Mars InSight's two-year mission will also use seismometers like these to measure quakes on the planet. And in a first experiment of its kind, the Mars InSight will be trying out new satellite technology called CubeSat. Two briefcase-sized satellites will break off from the InSight shortly after takeoff and follow it to Mars, but stay in orbit while it does its work below. If they can still transmit the data back to Earth, it's thought they could revolutionize satellite use. It's NASA's first interplanetary mission to be launched from a base other than Florida's Cape Canaveral, something that should provide some entertainment for Southern Californians. People in, in, in Los Angeles, you know, Santa Barbara, and, and they tell me even down to San Diego, you, you should be able to have you know, a good show for, for several minutes as long as, the, as long as there's no clouds in the sky. But after saying goodbye, the scientists will have to wait six months before InSight reaches its target and is able to dig deep into the red planet. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera.